Do you know one of the major biological control agent in pest management is important pest in lag cultivation? In the previous classes, we have talked about all the aspects of lag cultivation. In this class, we will discuss about one of the major obstacles in the lag cultivation that is pests or the natural enemies of lag. I'm your teacher Vignesh. Let's get into the topic. Cody finishes off in style. A magnificent strike into the crowd. India lift the World Cup after 28 years. One of the major problem in the lag cultivation is the pest that is feeding on the lag insects. We can divide those natural enemies or the pest into two categories that is vertebrate pest and the invertebrate pest. Average annual loss caused by these pests ranges between 35 to 45 percent in India. Coming to the vertebral natural enemies, there are two important of them, the rat and the squirrel. As the rats are active during the night time and the squirrels are active during the day time, they don't compete for their food. They will be eating on the lack insects and causing around 50 percentage of the loss in the brood sticks. For the management of these pests, we can use garlic and black pepper as a sprays around the field as they don't like the smell of them. We can also scare them off with the loud noises and we can prevent them from climbing on the trees by covering the trunk of the tree with the plastic barriers like we do it in case of the coconut arms to avoid the rodent pests. Moving on to the next category that is invertebrate pests. There we are having our insect predator and the parasitoids. The predators may not be that big but they cause the similar damage like those alien predators to the lag cultivation. Three major important predators are there. First one is the larger white lag moth. It is scientifically called Eublema amelis. And the second one is smaller lag moth or is scientifically called Holocera pulveria. The larva of this white lac moth is dirty white in color and they complete six generations per year. The most favorable condition for these insects is during the monsoon season. They attack most of the damages during the Katki and Agani crops. We have discussed about different crops during the previous class. If you haven't seen it, you can prefer the video. And these pests are most destructive on the trees. Whereas while we are comparing it with the smaller black lac moth, they are most serious pests on the stored lac. Symptom of attack of this pest is the pinkish discoloration in the brood lac. As the larva enters through the openings in the incrustation and they feed up to 40 to 60 cells. The next important pest of lac insect is the lacewing fly. It is one of the major natural enemies in the agricultural crop ecosystem where it is extensively used to manage the sucking pests. But in case of lac cultivation, it is the major pest of the lac insects. Immature stages of this lacewing fly, that is grub, is the major feeder on the lac insects. They will feed on the initial instars of the lac insects rather than as they do not tunnel its way through the lac encrustations. Like these two predators were doing as they will be feeding both on the lac encrustation by getting inside but in case of the ant lines or the lacewing flies they will not tunnel into the lac encrustation. They will be only feeding on the immature stages before the lac encrustation forms. This is the whole life cycle of the Eublema amabilis or the larger white lac moth. They will lay the single legs nearby the host that is lac insects and the larva will be feeding on the lac maturing into pupa and the adults. Next one is the life cycle of smaller lac moth or the Holocera pulvera or the Pseudo hypertoba pulvera. This also follows the same pattern as the white lac moth but they are the major pests in the storage as the white lac moth are major pests on the trees. This is the life cycle of Chrysopus species we are talking about. 
they lay their stocked eggs nearby the lac insects or the host insects. This is the typical way that lacewing flies lay their eggs which will look light green in color initially later which they turn into brownies at the time of hatching. As soon as the grubs emerging from the egg they will feed on the lac insects using their mandiblo sectorial mouth parts by squeezing the insects and extracting the juice out of their body. Then they turn into pupa after maturation followed by that adult. Adults they are free living they will not feed on the lac insects instead they will be busy on laying the eggs around the lac insects area. The next invertebrate pest we are moving to is the parasitoids. These are the major parasitoids feeding on they do parasite on the lac insect in their different life stages like Tetrasticus perfura coming under the family Eulophidae will be parasitizing on lac insects during their pupal stage. Brecon grainy coming under the Braconidae family they will be parasitizing the lac insects during their nymphal stage. While comparing it with the insect predators these parasitoids causes less damage as the loss ranges from 7 to 10 percentage while comparing it with the predators as they are causing around 90 percentage of the damage by the reports. These are all the parasitoids adult stages that we are talking about. This is the parasitoid adults emerging from the lac and crustacean after completing its life cycle. Later they will be go on searching the host then they will lay the eggs then the life cycle continues. Here is another parasitoid that is developing on the lac insects by feeding on them. Okay, now we will see how to do the management of these predators and the parasitoids. First one we must select the brood lac from the healthy and the pest free trees and as soon as the brood lac is collected we must go for the inoculation or the cutting of the brood lac from the trees has to be done just one week before the swarming instead of going for the storage of the brood lac as the pest infestation will be more during the storage and the pest carryover will be more when we are transferring it to the main field and the brood sticks that is inoculated should be removed after the emergence of the nymphs from them that is within two weeks of the inoculation and the major infestation of lepidopteran predators are there we can go with the 30 to 60 mesh net to prevent those pests from infesting the lac insects like in the agricultural crop ecosystem while we are going for continuous cultivation the pest load will be more like that we should not cultivate the kushimi and the rangini lac cultivation at the same place in order to avoid the predators and parasitoids load. When the population of these predators and parasitoids are more, we can go with the chemical control and the microbial pesticides like Pazelus syringensis also been applied. Okay, let's move on to the question part. Most destructive predator of lac insect on trees is Ubloma bumblebees, Holocera pulveria, Chrysophila species or both A and B. Rat and squirrel are Das and Das respectively. Nocturnal and diurnal, diurnal and nocturnal, both are diurnal, both are nocturnal. And the third question is, which of the following is not correct practice? Punky leg should be left in the host forever. Punky leg should be removed after the emergence. Brood leg should not be stored for long. Kushmi and Rangini not in the same place. Net can be used to prevent. Predators parasitoids, rats or squirrels. Which of the following has stocked eggs? White lac moth, black lac moth, green lacewing fly or the lac insect? Biological control agent that is acting as pest in lac culture is Chrysophila species, Erenchris stevensis, Eubloma mobilis, Holocera pulveria. And the seventh question is find the odd one. Chrysophila species, Erenchris stevensi, Eubloma amabilis, Holocera pulveria. Eubloma amabilis infestation is more during Katki season, Agani season, during the monsoon crop or the summer crop. 
which is the correct one all of the above a b and d a b and c or a b and d with this we are coming to the conclusion of the lag culture in the next class we will study more about the weed killers see you in the next class guys until then bye bye